What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooze back again once again. Chapter 63, Dragon Ball Super. So before we start, um, I do know that from all of the spoilers that I have been avoiding, um, and I, I, I see that there's a lot to unpack from this week, this month's chapter. I'm very excited to see uh, what actually happens. Now, normally, if you're been keeping up with my reaction to the manga chapters for both Dragon Ball and Boruto, you've obviously known that I haven't, like, I haven't been showing nothing. Um, but I have some good news for you guys. Um, I guess you could say I got some kind of special permission from Viz Media. I'm not showing all of it, but I was pretty much given somewhat of a green light, kind of like a yellow light, you know, like you don't have to completely not do it. There's no X, but it did say that I can show some images. So without a further ado, now I know this, this right here in front of you is probably not the biggest of indicators, but as we move on with the chapter you guys will obviously be able to follow along a little bit better with where i'm reading so i kind of just wanted to put that out there before we actually get started and jump right into it but yes we are moving on up a little bit in the world some other fun stuff that i do uh have to share with you guys in the future concerning viz media but that'll be for another time so um again thank you guys thank you guys for uh supporting me up to this point um, the manga reactions have been doing pretty well for themselves. Um, I obviously am planning on doing that if you, and, and continuing with these. And if you want to see me react to any other series that are possibly on a weekly basis, let me know in the comments below. Um, please go ahead and check out my Patreon because if, if that is something of interest to you guys, I'll definitely have some exclusive stuff via the Patreon for you guys as well. And I've been trying to promote my GoFundMe because my computer has been crapping out on me and I am in I am due for a new one. So all support would definitely help. All of the links will be in the description below. So now, let's get right into it. All right, so chapter 63, Miris's Resolve. Okay, so Agent Miris, where the heck have you been, says Jacko. Apologies, Agent Jacko. I was tied up with other matters. So let's let's just peep. My man, Jacko, is in... Oh no, I'm sorry, not Jacko, but Miris is back in his Galactic Patrol outfit. He is no longer in the angel gear. Okay, let's, let's keep in mind of this, okay? So, uh, Moro, of course, in his, uh, his, in his, in his, in his brand new form, right? His, uh... His, his form where he's in his prime, right? So Jacko says, Sorry to be all, we're totally doomed just after you finally showed up, but Moro is definitely too much for the Galactic Patrol to handle. So, we're totally doomed. Uh, Mira says, I'm aware. I've only come to finish up some training. Who's training? Son Goku? Wait a minute. So he came to just finish the training? Or not? Or is he just going to sacrifice himself? So that way, Goku feels that pain of loss every time. Please don't. Please. Please don't head into that direction, please. I beg of you. Huh? Speaking of, where did everyone go? Oh, snap. Where did everybody go? Moro goes, you. What are you? And where did you send them? And then Jack uh, Mira says, for the moment, somewhere, somewhere safe and far away from here. Do not trifle with me. What is he about to do? What is that? He, he's, he's doing a circle. He sent... What is he? He's trying to sense everything that's in the dome or something. And then... Jekyll goes... Hey, hang on. Can't he track people? And then he goes... I'll have to buy... Them some time. Oh my god. So he is... Yo, Miris is charging at Moro. Whoa! Where'd he get that stab from? He pulled it out the sky. That was crazy. Okay, Moro blocks. I sense no life energy in you, yet I did earlier. Was that mere camouflage? Are you some manner of deity? Angel mirrors, bro. Angel detective galactic mirrors. My man got the freaking stat. My Yo, he about to be in fighters. Moro is about to be in fighters, 100%. Same with mirrors. That would be kind of fire, too. Look at my man. Look, he got the Donatello pole. Look at this. 
That's crazy. Look at that, blocking him. That's like the power pole. Bro, my man literally has his own power pole. That's actually kind of busting. He's giving, he is giving it to Moro right now. Moro's dodging like all his attacks. Moro comes in. Mirrors, of course, dodges. Yeet. Ooh, he uses the pull to freaking keep himself up. Beep. Oh, and an extended bah, right to the freaking chin. Oh, yeah. Jacko was like, what? Bro, Mirrors has a power pull. Wow, so then Jacko uses like some kind of energy to keep him afloat. Lands. Shloop. And then it go, the power pull kind of shrinks in a little bit. Wow, he made him bleed. And then Mirrors is like, I see. Arms Moro, excuse me, sorry. Mirrors and Moro, there are too many M names right now to. All right, so Mirrors is looking like a gangster. Jacko's like confused, huh? Huh? Was Agent Mirrors always this strong? Yeah, Jacko never knew. So now he's now he, they're charging at each other again. Oh, okay. So now we get to see where everyone's at, and they're still down for the count. Freaking, what is that? That looks like Dende. Oh, here, here's Beerus and Whis. Whis goes, I left the Galactic Patrol agent behind. Beerus goes, what do I care? Beerus goes, getting kind of sick of doing favors for these guys. <laughs> he and Whis goes, they are indeed a handful. Beerus says, but the God of Earth can save them now, right? Whis goes, yes. Beerus goes, okay, time to go. Whis goes, where? And then <laughs> Beerus goes, Bulma's place. You said we were coming to Earth to eat some delicious stuff. Preserve, preserving Earth's gourmet goodies is the only reason I either I I ever save those idiots. And we already knew this. Did we not know this? The only reason why they stick up for Earth is because of the food. If the if we did not have the good food here, we'd be screwed. I'm sure we'd be screwed. So anyways, Weez goes, ah, but of course. Weez, off we go then. Beerus, hey, I feel like we're missing someone. Where is Mirus? Oh, it seems he got separated from us. But he just told you. What? Were you not listen Were you not reading the last page? Uh, hello? Weez goes, no harm in leaving him behind. Beerus goes, whatever. One less mouth to feed means more for me. I think Weez is in on it. It's kind of funny, but okay. Dende is curing everybody. Dende, is he gonna live? Says Gohan. Dende goes, Goku's wound is deep, and since his chi itself has reached god level, healing him could take some time. I can heal you too in a moment, Gohan. Leave me for last. Take care of dad, Piccolo, and Vegeta. Also, Goku, like, coughed up. Oh, wow, he got up. Oh, man, he noticed that there was a hole in his chest, but now the hole is covered. It's, like, patched up. Dende's like, great, you seem to be healed. He goes, Dende, yes, where's Moro? Dende's like, he's battling the angel. Oh, the angel. Oh, shit. Okay. The angel? You don't mean Miris? I'm afraid I don't know his name. Darn. What could he be thinking? Any angel who fights for real outside of training is doomed to disappear. Huh? Goku says, Dende, take care of these guys, okay? I I will. Thanks as always, Kamisama. Oh, that was hella respect. Okay, Goku. I didn't know you had it in you. He freaking called Dende Kamisama. Dende, after all, is the is the Earth's guardian. That is, you know, God, essentially. He is Kami. Damn. That's the first time I think. They ever referenced Dende as Kami. So that's fire. That's definitely fire. So again, back to the action. Moro versus Mirus. M and M. All right. Freaking. Oh, whoa. Why does he have laser beams out of his eyes? This character's broken. Of course, Mirus blocks it, though, with the pole. Moro kicks the pole. Damn it. Headbutts. Ooh. Key blasts. Mirus is dodging him, of course, naturally. Damn, the action is very, very high pace right now. Good stuff. Oh, okay. Mirus put the hand out. I guess the pole has uh, some tracking to him. 
Dude, I that's 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 so nuts. I didn't under I didn't know that. Well, I guess it would make sense because angels have a staff. So that's probably like that's probably like their that's basically like his version of a staff is like a power pole kind of like, you know, bamboo stick or something like that. Kind of like a Donatello, you know what I'm saying? Mir uh Miris goes, "Hmm. Moro, are you concealing your true strength? What's the meaning of this and why rely on a tool?" Perfect question to ask. Goku, Miris. Ah, Goku. Moro goes, hmm, him? Goku's like, you gotta stop. Keep fighting and you're gonna vanish. Yeah, that's true. And then Mir Miris goes, it would seem I'm still intact for now. And then Goku goes, well, fall back. It's my turn to fight. Oh, yo, he went straight Ultra Instinct. Oh, man, oh, man. He goes, were you saved by the Namekian's healing abilities? Like, yo, he's straight up Ultra Instinct Omen. Goku gets a kick in. I can't tell if he got him or if... Oh, no. It looked like Moro dodged. Wow. Moro was dodging all of Goku's attacks, even in Ultra Instinct. Uh-oh. It seemed like Whis and Beerus noticed. Whis goes, Goku is having another go at it with Sign. Ultra Instinct Sign, of course, is the manga version of what they want to call it. Omen Sign, whatever you want. Beers goes, can he win? Whis goes, I very much doubt it. Yep, he gets punched back. Yep, Moro punches him back. Okay, then Mirrors helps him from getting pummeled by the rocks. Because, you know, you know how that goes. You get knocked back, you're about to hit all sorts of boulders. Goku is struggling. He's on the floor. He's already powered down. He just got healed. This man just got healed, and he's already back to base. Broke, like, oh, my God. Thanks for that, Mirrors. Moro, Moro goes, that form of yours already failed to defeat me once. Did you think this time would be different? Goku says, damn it. You spent all that time teaching me Ultra Instinct, and I still can't get the hang of it. Mirrors goes, not quite, Goku. Your training worked. One last push should trigger it. Hmm. A push? What do you mean? Oh. Uh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Moro's hand grabs Miris. Grabs him by the neck. Guys, you already know. You're, you, you already know what's about to happen right now. Yeah, okay, I'm not even gonna say it, but you you already know if y'all paying attention. Okay, ha ha ha. Moro says I can't claim to know who you are, but copying your abilities should prove useful. Oh my God, Miris! This time the bo the freaking bow staff turned into the freaking angel staff, cuts off Moro's arm from the hand. Moro literally gets surprised. He swoops it back, freaking regrows a hand again. He goes, Tsh. okay, so maybe it didn't work. That would have been ridiculous if he had that. Okay, that copy power is a hassle, so I'll have to seal it off. Um, he's getting too involved now. I think, I think the sacrifice is actually about to take place. And this is exactly what Kai and I did not want to happen. Beerus and Whis, of course, feel it. Beerus says, feels just feels like Miris just started using those angel powers. You sure about all this? And Whis goes, as you know, Lord Beerus, I do not act except under your direct command. Beerus goes, you sneaky little. So the Grand Priest is going to be pissed at me. Let's get back there and stop him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Back to the action. Moro charges. Miris says, I was, born an I was born as an angel, meant to maintain a neutral position outside of good and evil. Dodges Moro while he attacks. He gets behind him. Ha! Puts him down to the ground. Oh! He stabs. He stabs one his hand with the freaking jaw. You guys see it right there. 
Oh my god, and it breaks. Okay, and he gets back. And then Mears continues and says, so, if, so even if the universe is ravaged or destroyed, I'm only supposed to sit back and watch. That's true. Moro goes, a ceiling technique? How could you possibly? Jacko says, hmm, an angel? That's what Mira says? Am I hearing this right? Mira says, however, throughout my time working alongside the Galactic Patrol, something blossomed inside me. A sense of justice. Goku's like, oh, surprise. Moro's right, right in front of them again for the attack. A lot of dodging. Now the, Galact now, the Galactic Patrol agents may be the elites of their own homeworlds, but on the universal scale, they're helpless. Ha <laughs> ha! Jacko goes, helpless? Miris goes, many of the criminals willing to violate galactic law are stronger than those agents. Even so, the agents act in accordance with their convictions and ideals. Valiantly, they struggle to protect the galaxy. This much is definitely true. And now we have... Okay, so I guess these are the Galactic Patrol spaceships with some of the prison the prisoners. Uh, this dude says, We've collared every convict besides Moro, so we're heading straight to the Galactic Prison. Understood, we'll prepare to receive the prisoners. Which just leaves Moro. Once these guys are locked up again, we'll head back to help. Okay, so that was cool. So all of the other convicts, they're about to get locked up. So Moro's the last remaining one. Okay, good to know. The chapter's almost over, guys. We're literally on page 33 right now. Damn, Moro, Moro is like no... He's no chance against against Mirrors. Like, he is handling him right now with this staff. Oh, yo. Put this guy in fighters. His freaking staff turned into a gun, son. Shot him like a billiard. Bah, bah, freaking... Oh, my goodness. Oh my god, and he nailed him right in the other hand. Look, 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 look. Yo. Both his jewels where he where he keeps the abilities copied, done. Sealed. Broken. Moro's like, oh. Miris goes, seeing those agents in action, I came to realize that peace in the in the galaxy is worth hanging on to. Oh my god, he's disappearing. He's vanishing. Oh my god, he's vanishing. Dude, it's happening. It's literally happening. Oh no. Hey, Mirrors, it looks like you're not all there. Yeah, he's becoming transparent. Holy shit. Especially after meeting you and your people, Goku. That strengthened my resolve further. Goku, no, Mirrors. What's the plan here? Cut it out. Mirrors goes, this next attack is most likely my last. Holy crap. Whis and Beerus. Beerus goes, geez, his body's already all see-through. Sadly, it would seem we are all too late. <sighs> Here we go. Beerus goes, you left Mirus behind knowing this would happen. Whis goes, who, me? Not at all. Beerus goes, what kind of excuse are we going to feed the Grand Priest? We shall have to think on that. And then Mirus, Mirus looks like he's powering up. And then, oh my god, Jet Moro goes, why you? Mirrors charges, ah! Goku's Mirrors! And as he's charging, I guess Mirrors is having a moment. You've saved this universe so many times over, Goku. Huh? And Goku's like, huh? I guess so. It's not something I think about much. We already know that. Goku says, this is in, their mem in the memory right now. I like how my bun fell all the way back. Anyway. It's just the strongest guys out there tend to be villains, so... Yeah, yet, despite their wicked deeds, you prefer not to end their lives? Why is that? That's what, uh... Miris is asking, and Goku, I guess, says... Because if they rise up to do bad stuff again, I just have to become stronger by then, right? I'll fight them as many times as it takes, and at some point, just maybe... They'll decide to join the good side. You know... As, as freaking stupid as Goku can be sometimes, he's so wholesome. You got This is why you, you can't hate him. You can't hate him. And then we Mirrors goes, reforming villains. Reforming villains then? The Galactic Patrol takes the same approach. Putting it that way gives me too much credit, man. Goku says, I just think that's way much more exciting, I guess. Mirrors goes, exciting, you say? 
You are a fascinating specimen, Goku. Oh my god. And then back to the action. Mirus is charging in. Ah! Moro holding up a, a big energy wave. Mirus goes right through it, no problems. Moro is literally shocked. Wow, he instantly just starts putting up a spirit bomb kind of thing. And then, oh my god, Mirus is still charging head first. Oh my god, and then he's right in front of his face, punches him right in the dome, and cracks it. Oh my god, he's done. Mirus freaking puts him down. It's done. He goes, ugh. Dude, Mirus is literally fading. Oh my god. Jackal goes, huh, huh? Slow your roll, Agent Mirus. You're vanishing off the face of the earth. Goku's like, Mirus! Mirus says, Goku, should you achieve Ultra Instinct at your current strength, it will be far more stable than ever before. You will not fall tomorrow, nor to anyone else for that matter. Jacko says, Hello, Goku. Care to fill me in? Mirus goes, I've come to love this galaxy, this universe full of excitement. Please protect it all. And just like that, Mirus is gone. Jacko says, He's gone. Mirus! Beerus goes, Just gone? Poof. And Whis goes, Yes, sadly. Beerus goes, Right. And then Whis goes, he was an awkward little brother. And the last panel is Goku as we know him to be. The pain of loss is, of course, one of the strongest traits in shonen manga and anime. The pain of loss is what unlocks more power-ups. And I believe it is at this point that on September 18th, next month, we will finally see the Master Ultra Instinct version of Goku in this. And I believe at that point, Moro will be defeated by the hands of Goku. And that is, in fact, the last page. So, guys, my thoughts on this are as such. It is very unfortunate to see the man Muris have to sacrifice himself with the idea of justice on the line. In a way, it is very valiant. It is very honorable, very respectable. But it does not change the fact that what's worse than even all of that is, you know, I mean, Muris was a great character. Muris was actually really dope. The fact that we called this guy to literally be an angel from the beginning. That was, at least that's what I was saying. I'm like, this guy is definitely related to Whis in some, in some, in some formation, right? It, was just, it just... It sucks beyond that to just be right on what's happening. How things are shaken up. How things are turning out. How the story is unfolding. How it's just going to end up being another win under Goku's belt. Meanwhile, Dende, Kamisama, right? He is in the middle of healing everybody. And the rest of the Galactic Patrol is actually just going to show up for, I guess, them to recapture Moro. To throw him back in the prison. So on and so forth. But if we're going to look at what Miris was saying, and we're going to use that as kind of like an indicator as to, you know, how strong, like, just to, like as validation for how strong Master Ultra Instinct really is. I just, I just, I just think that at that point, I feel like Master Ultra Instinct should never be surpassed. It should, it should, in fact, stay as the be-all, end-all form and stay that way. Okay, there's other ways or there's other methods into introducing newer forms that might not, obviously not be as strong, but, you know, we could talk about that in other videos. I've, I've most certainly discussed this in previous 
videos and streams, but you know, repetition is most certainly a thing nowadays. Um, ultimately, it sucks because we were hoping that this was going to be the arc that Vegeta would get this win. But the whole narrative of the story at the end of the day has basically always been about Goku. It has always been about this guy mastering the Ultra Instinct. And it, and it was due in part by Miris' um, involvement. So, and also, here's the thing that we have to realize. Chapter 64, okay? This chapter next month is literally gonna be a squash. I don't. I don't know if Moro is really even gonna be much of a challenge, especially because think about it. This guy already got nerfed by Miris. They needed an angel's help to take this guy down. It, it kind of like in a weird way. It, it really like they overbooked Moro, and like kind of lessened all the other characters, but. And then at the same time, what makes matters even worse is that they needed the help of a higher being than all of them to then stake their hand in, literally nullify this dude's copy ability, nerfing him ultimately, right? And now because, you know, when Saiyans lose people that they care about, you already know what happens next. Goku is now about to come up. Chapter 64, Mastered Ultra Instinct. And you know what's going to happen next. This guy's going to win. He's going to beat Moro. And then the arc will be as good as, as it is. Predictable. We all saw it coming. At least some of us did. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I would love to be wrong. Ultimately, I would love to be wrong. I would love to be wrong so that way... You know, Vegeta gets the win, but even at that point, at what cost? How many more plot holes does this series need? If if Master Ultra Instinct isn't gonna be the deciding factor, the, the the thing that ends this guy, then that automatically craps on that form. Why? Just so that we can get what was already supposed to happen, what was owed to us, the fans. The, the 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 not even just to us but to the, the, the Vegeta the character like I don't know I don't know I don't honestly I don't even know what I want anymore because like we're we're too we're too deep into this plot and honestly if things were to kind of like twist and change because there's no plot twist here everything is clear cut straight to the point and everything has been linear in that sense I mean along the way we were we were noticing things and realizing things, but at the end of it all, at the end of it all, was it, was it, was it something that we couldn't just figure out going off of past, past arcs, experiences, clues, context clues within this arc. At this point, we're way too far deep, man. If they, if Toyotaro ch decides to change something up now, it's probably just going to, make this arc lesser than it is it's been enjoyable it's been a very fun ride if i was to not really care about vegeta getting this big win or for just goku to not be the constant guy to always be the one then the arc is fine i guess right but that's just me trying to find some kind of optimistic approach at it but that's my all my complete thoughts Look forward to uh, hearing about the discussion with Kai on the Full Power Podcast, which should be coming out pretty soon. Um, let me guys, let me let me know what you guys thought about this uh, in the comments below. And a quick reminder, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and please, please, if you can, support on Patreon and on the GoFundMe. Um, for now, I feel like the GoFundMe is probably a little bit more important, just because I I kind of do need a new computer. I've been using a program to edit these videos. That is not something that I normally do, but I, I got to do what you got to do, right? Take care of yourselves, guys. May the power protect you. Keep it locked, little right here on this channel. Look forward to seeing what you guys' responses are to this chapter. And uh, be safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.